and he just stood there and listened. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. Me! Bring it on. By the way, Jack. I was the one who killed your parents. Oh! Shots fired. I claimed you for my own and raised you as a soldier in the army of the devil. I am your foster father and your worst enemy. Why? Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me and face your past, Jack, you will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop, your own double helix. It shall be done. It's time we were both free. Imagine if he missed. Bring it on, bitch! I have other reasons for wanting you dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Inside you. What? Well, you cut me open and find the out! ...is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed. Still feel bad about Olga and Fortune. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Brace yourself. Just bring it. Hey, not ready yet. I think we can't call Snake. Nope. Oh, he almost filled the list. going for you with just your bare hands. You have your own blade. Use it. I'm not going to call the colonel. He creeps me. Uh, 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 uh. Dead, dead, dead. Alright. Ow. I can't believe we're finally here, man. Feels like we just started playing. I always hate the end of a Metal Gear Solid game. So like you come a long way. You feel the emotions. What's wrong with you? Oh, you cheeky snot. You have to do better than that. <laughs> Piece of cake. an easier way, like I'm forgetting something. Oh, right, this is where he gets personal. No longer Doctor Octopus. Yeah. trying to do we're not just pawns in some simulation game you know yes you are 
were nothing but mere weapons. <laughs> different from fighter jets or tanks. What the? The old model destroyed four years ago was Rex. The new amphibious model is Ray. Both of these are the same. Just said you notice her eyes. By the US Armed Forces to refer to Japanese warplanes during World War II. Your code name, Raiden 2, comes from the Japanese Navy's name for one of its interceptors. Stop it. I'm not a weapon. Don't listen to him, Raiden. Do you know the code name the US Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter Raiden? It was Jack. Only <sighs> weapons to be used and thrown away. Just weapons to be used on the battlefield. Just pawns in a game, exactly as you said. And a weapon has no right to think for itself. Now, it's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Is that the best you could do? <laughs> oh. Go oh, away. Oh. Some challenge you are. I almost defeated you. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? Ooh, can't block that. Now he's losing it. And there we go. Bob's your uncle. Oh, get ready. This is a cool bit. Oh, that hurt. I technically didn't kill him. Oh, ho, ho. oh, that for nothing. <laughs> Bye. I'm gonna fly like an eagle. Wee. This is gonna hurt. So I always wondered what killed him, me cutting his back or when he fell on. Oh, Come on, Liam, you know better. Played this game heaps of times, I should have known. Good background there. Love for your computer. See, this is where it starts to get real trippy. Hey, Snake. 
and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. I wonder if we can see Vamp. I think we can with this bit, like, on this uh, cutscene. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you were right or wrong, but how much faith you were willing to have. That decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction too, come to think of it. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Jack! Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. You should go with Raiden. It's a badass you name. You didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah. A clean slate. A new name. New memories. Hmm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. By the way, what is that? Dog tag. Dog tags. There we go. Anyone you know? No, never heard the name before. Been looking straight at my own name and my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. They taught me there he is. things too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word, even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry. I'll find him. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up. We have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. Well done. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? <laughs> this virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriots' identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. See, it's amazing that no one pays attention. Hello. You really hurt. Hey! What's wrong? Nothing. 
Can I ask you something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know. But we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. Yeah. See me for what I am, okay? No. Lovey dovey. Do you remember this place? Of course. This is where we first met. I remember now. Mm -hmm. Today is the day I met you. <laughs> there you go. Well done, Ryden. You remembered. I think I found something to pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. The genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture, poetry. Passion, sorrow, joy. We'll tell them everything. <laughs> they got that reference. Proposal. This is that'll be the next one. Don't you worry, people. Only. I'll be looking forward to that one.
I know how good it has been. Facing forever, here I stand, come what may. Bring the old, bring the new, yesterday. It's there that I'll find inner peace. Not war and dreams that I let slip away. I'll find the joyfulness I'm looking for way back in Life isn't just about passing on your genes. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature and movies, what we've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. The human race will probably come to an end sometime and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing.
Snake, you there? It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriot's list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh, about a hundred years ago. What the hell? Alrighty, people, that is the end of Metal Gear Solid 2. Whoa. Tell you what, big mind fuck for this game. But I think we all managed to figure out what was going on in the end. Um, as for the next one, I don't know what to play. I still got Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, or do I go straight to the third one? I don't know. So all these choices. And I still got to do Metal Gear Solid 4, Revengeance, and. Um, what's the other one? Phantom Pain. No, not Phantom Pain. Oh, <laughs> I'm at a mind screw right now. You know the one I'm talking about. Grand Zero, that's the one. Oh, sorry, it's a bit late. I've been doing this for four hours and it's 3.30 in the morning. But people, we did have fun, didn't we? A lot of happiness. Well, happiness at the end. There was emotion. There was a bit of love, there was a bit of sadness, but that's Metal Gear for you. And you gotta love the little screwing around where you think you know what you're doing and what's going on, and then choo, it's gone the opposite direction. There's two faced, there's triple faced, quadruple faced actions going on in this in this in this um, game's universe. And that's what I like about it. You think you know what you're doing, but you don't. Alrighty people, this is Mel Gear Solid 2, coming to a close. Kane Undertaker, signing out.